Hi guys, I just wanted to record my thoughts today. It's almost Halloween. Got some things coming up that I'm really excited about. Uh, the OEC refresher for the mountain that I just moved near, Mount Bachelor's coming up. OEC is Outdoor Emergency Care for the National Ski Patrol. So it's the OEC NSP ASAP, you know. Um, and so that's an opportunity for me to continue to serve as a National Ski Patroller that is something that makes me feel really good about myself and something that I take very seriously. Um, not because it inherently is super serious, it's mostly just skiing for free. Of course, when it's serious it is, it's like lifeguarding, right? It's just hanging out until you gotta help somebody and then, you know, it's, it's as serious as could be. But my point is, uh, very excited to continue with not only Ski Patrol, which is coming up this weekend, but also uh, the paramedic training that I'm doing um, which should fruit in time to being part of my professional life. Um, I am undergoing paramedic training as we speak to become um, an active paramedic and a nationally registered paramedic. So that's super exciting for me. Uh, also, I am applying to the National Guard. Also, I got a job as the ski race coach for Corvallis, um, for a club team for the high school in uh, Central Oregon in Corvallis. So I am just so really, ch I don't know the right word. I'm, I'm so excited and I'm so honored and I'm so uh, challenged to be my best uh, with the opportunity to coach um, high school ski racing. I love skiing as much as anything that I've ever done. And to have this opportunity just as a real affirmation of the fact that I'm going in the right direction. Uh, my wife and I just moved to Central Oregon and uh, we're really kind of picking up speed and working hard. Um, I have a, a good, you know, an eight to five job that, that I'm, I'm, I'm working at and, and want to continue to excel and, uh, and, 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 you know, pay the bills and so forth. And I wanted to record this video because I uh, got done with my, my daily workout today and I feel inspired. And I feel inspired on a very specific wavelength, right? Like on a very specific, uh, uh, how can I say wavelength in a way that you know is, is less woo woo. Uh, in a very specific way I'm, I am inspired. And that is that I realize that number one, I know why I love exercising and fitness and working out so much. Number two, I realized that what I do with what it gives me can really enrich my life and can really help potentially others' lives as well. And I'm not saying that because I think that I'm so great from like a from an egoic place of of telling you you know what I have to offer. I'm telling you that from what I've seen happen around me when I'm feeling good. Okay, so exercise, fitness, working out is the opportunity for me to move, right? I do the elliptical and I, and I lift weights and I swim and I, you know, I stretch and I, and I do the, the sauna and so forth. And what I realized is, and I was ha having a conversation with a gentleman um, and we, you know, this kind of just thought came out. I think a lot of um, the struggles that we face with things like depression and anxiety and frustration and anger and the things that kind of are composite elements of mental illness and at the struggles that we all have with with um, with with relationships that, that we struggle with and, and behaviors that uh, end up manifesting negative things in our lives is the idea of being the feeling of being stuck we've all had it this is not a nebulous concept for you know everybody I think it's 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 a truism when we feel like we can't move, right? Whether it's that we've been sitting at a desk all day or, or even in the, in the abstract, if we're caught in a certain pattern of, of uh, behavior, there's a, there's, a, there's a feeling of being stuck. And um, that creates a lot of negative results. Well, the, 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 the solution to being stuck physically is to literally go and unstick yourself physically. Um, you go and you play sports, you go and you exercise, you dance, you rollerblade or skateboard or ski or surf or paraglide. It doesn't matter. Um, but 
the point being physical pursuits, challenging ourselves physically, literally heal not only our bodies by making them stronger, more capable, and there's, you know, volumes of exercise science, physiology, uh, kinesthesiology, kinest I never say that right, kinesthesiology, um, you know, the science of, of the kinesthetics of the body, body mechanics, that one could draw on to understand these things that I'm saying. Um, you know, I didn't start the fire to quote, you know, B Billy Joel, we didn't start the fire. Being physically active makes your body healthy. Well, it also makes your mind healthy. Um, exercising and, and physical fitness and weightlifting and these kinds of things and all the other sports that I mentioned and, and the myriad other sports are not merely vanity uh, in motion. They are a, a, a pursuit of linking the body and the mind. Um, anybody who's ever exercised and really gotten after it knows that not only the endorphins that flood our bodies, the, 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 the neurotransmitters that you know, flow through our, our system, um, you know, not only do they make us feel wonderful, but literally the tension, the imbalances, the frustration, the feeling of being stuck, all of that goes away. And what we're left with is, is um, the ability to be uh, improvisational and present and spontaneous and creative and loving and kind and aware and all of those things are these weird weirdly um i find that they're side effects of physical pursuits and it's like an epiphany because it's like gosh i wish this for everybody i wish that all of us who struggle with physical ailments mental difficulties uh psychological struggles um difficult relationships uh, bad behaviors, either from others that we have to deal with in our in our lives, or or from ourselves, um, you know, whether consciously or unconsciously. I really feel like physical activity and pursuits, and specifically, um, in a way that challenges us. I don't mean just you know uh, lifting your arm up and down a hundred times. Like I mean, it's a stupid example, but like I mean, at least from the way that I perceive what I'm talking about, the discipline to challenge yourself in a physical way through sport or, or art, um, you know, whether it's martial arts or, or performing arts and, you know, what have you, is extraordinarily valuable. And I want to share that with you guys because I felt kind of faced with that reality today, uh, a little bit burnt out, a little bit frustrated with myself before I went and worked out, went and worked out and just had these wonderfully synchronistic, spontaneous, uh, serendipitous experiences. I had forgotten my towel. I, I usually bring a like chamois towel, you know, like a um, it's, you can wring them out and they're really absorb absorptive, absorbent. And I use that for after I swim. And I forgot it today. And I was, I'm sitting there talking to myself in the in the locker room, going, "Oh, Devin, darn it! I forgot. Don't tell me I forgot the towel that I did." And the gentleman right next to me, without so much as being asked, without being, you know, I, I, I you know, didn't ask the gentleman goes, hey, go and get one from the front desk. And he pulls out a dollar and just hands it to me. Here you go. And I just kind of went, thank you, right? Like I was, I, was, I was not surprised as much as I was humbled by his kindness. Uh, went up to the front desk, had his dollar, the gentleman's dollar, gave the, the front desk attendant the dollar. It was only 50 cents to rent a towel. I said, hey, you know, please keep the other 50 cents for somebody else that needs a towel. Um, felt good about it. And it was this recognition that I had this kind of positive mentality and, you know, the world, if you like, the, the universe, the people around me, you know, however you want to conceptualize it, kind of mirrored that. And... I, I continued to have those experiences. I was in the sauna and having conversations and they were just really positive. And I really, and I really felt that the fact that I was feeling good and I didn't want to take anybody else's time or space or energy and I was just happy to converse um, made good things happen. Um, and, and specifically, I mean, I just had really nice conversations with, with, with uh, individuals at the gym. So 
uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I think it's super important. And um, what I what I ended up finding out as well that that kind of uh, was a way of conceptualizing what had happened with the towel is something that I had heard earlier, and that is I think people are apt are likely to help those that help themselves. You know, it's like that that uh, I've heard it so, in, in so many words. You know, you see somebody on the side of the road. If they're out pushing their car, I would argue that you're more likely to help them push as opposed to somebody, you know, just on their phone or something, right? And dealing with a, with a broken down car. I think that endeavoring to take on the challenges of our, of our lives, however difficult and, you know, unjust as they may be, right? And however little we deserve the suffering that we must face in our life, the, the, the degree to which we will face those things, those trials and tribulations willingly, I think not only is, is correlated um, proportionately to how much goodness we get, but also how much help we receive, right? It's about helping ourselves, challenging ourselves, and then through kind of this process, not that I have the answers and uh, 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 or, or any kind of deeper understanding as anybody else does, but somehow I feel like that helps everybody else. Um, I heard another way of putting this that I suppose makes the point as well, and that is, it's a riddle. What's the greatest gift that you can give to somebody? Your own happiness, right? Well, I'm feeling pretty happy. I'm feeling pretty present, pretty, you know, centered. And it's a result of me working out, you know? And, and I mean, boom, boom. Feel good. So I love you guys. I wish you the best. I challenge you to get out there and, and make some fitness goals for yourself and see how it helps your mindset and your mentality and your mental wellness moving forward into your next day, your next week, uh, your next quarter, what have you. So um, much love, best of luck, and uh, get back to me. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.